So, you've got a new set of tires fitted to your motorcycle, great, but now you need to balance your wheels. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a static wheel balancer, like this one here, to balance your motorcycle wheels. We're going to place the wheel on the balancer, on the spindle, and then the idea is that we let the wheel swing back and forth until the heaviest spot settles to the bottom, leaving the lightest spot directly on top. Then, we just even things out by adding weights to the lightest spot of the wheel on top. When balancing your front wheel, you're going to want to balance it with the rotors on the wheel. For your rear wheel, usually it's best to take your sprocket carrier off of the wheel. It rides on that rubber cush drive you see there, and although it's usually pretty firm, there's a slight bit of play so the rule of thumb is best to just do it without. So here's our spindle. You can see it's a perfectly straight shaft with two cones. And it rides on these bearings on the static wheel balancer. So we'll take one set of cones off the spindle and it's going to go through the wheel and it's important that the cone presses all the way up against the inner race of the bearing you see there for a tight fit. Make sure there's no play in it. Like that. You don't want any play in things. You want it all the way up against the inner race of the wheel bearing. Tighten things up and put it on the wheel balancer. Now it's important that things are level. You can level your table. And then also my balancer has a bubble on there so that you can level the balancer itself. It has these adjustable legs. And there we go. Now that everything's perfectly level, we can get started balancing the wheel. Make sure you remove the old weights from the wheel first. And then just to show you so you can clearly have a good reference point, I'm going to put a piece of tape on the wheel. At this point, this tape means nothing. It's just so you can clearly see where things are rotating. So we'll give the wheel a couple of goes and see where it settles. We'll speed things up a little bit just so it doesn't take all day for you. But as you can see, eventually the wheel's going to slow down. And if you've got it set up correctly, the heavy spot will go directly at the bottom and the lightest spot will be directly at the 12 o'clock position, telling us where we need to add the weights. I got the light spot figured out, so we'll take that tape off, and then I'll go ahead and mark the light spot for us. Give it a few more goes just to ensure that that's truly the light spot. Looks like we got it right. Now we can go ahead and start adding weight. These are Motion Pro stick-on weights, and they are a quarter ounce each. They've got the adhesive backing, but we don't want to peel it off just yet, since we don't know exactly what we'll need. So just use some tape to put it on temporarily until you get things dialed in. I'm going to start with just two of these. Quarter ounce each puts us at a half ounce of weight on there right now. And as you can see, as we move the wheel around, the light spot that we marked continues to rise up, telling us that the half ounce of weight that we put on isn't quite enough. 
so we'll go ahead and put a little more. I'm going to add two more of those quarter ounce weights, giving us a total of one ounce right now. Let's see how that does. Looks like that's just a little bit too much. Let's take one of those away and just use three weights total, and we'll see if that does it. Well, as you can see, with three weights on there, that's just about perfect. It still wants to fall a little bit, but not bad. Now, with just two weights on there, it was definitely too light, so this would be a good happy spot. If you wanted to leave it there, it wouldn't be too bad. You'd never feel that slight imbalance. I mean, this thing is just barely moving. But, if you want to get it just perfect, since these are quarter ounce weights, you can cut them in half to get an eighth ounce for fine adjustments. So I went ahead and did that just to show you. You can use a power tool or just cut them with a hacksaw. And look at that. Perfect. Now that we know we got it right, we can go ahead and peel these off with the masking tape and put them on for good now. Make sure to give your wheel a good cleaning so these things stick. And then you can peel off the backing and put them on for good. And it's also a good idea to cover your weights with a piece of duct tape, especially if you're doing track days. Most places like that for tech inspection. And of course you can get it in fun colors too. And with that, you're all done. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.